Welcome to Trebinje, one of the most beautiful cities in Republic of Srpska, Bosnia and Herzegovina, the former Yugoslavia and this part of Europe. I start the tour from the city park. A path goes through the beautiful tree lines. In the central part of the park, there is a monument to the fighters from the Second World War, which is surrounded by beautiful trees. Right next to the monument is cultural center of Trebinje, the venue for a huge number of concerts. From the park I go out to the beautiful church in front of which is located a magnificent monument to Serbian Patriarch Pavle and I think it is far more beautiful than one in Belgrade. Enjoy the beauty of the church in Trebinje. The road leads me further to the monument of the great Serbian poet Jovan Ducic, who was born in Trebinje. In addition to being a poet and a writer, he also became an academic and a diplomat, and with his own funds, he built for his colleague a monument. This is another fantastic Serbian poet, Petar Petrovic Njegos, and I will show you monument very soon. Cafes and restaurants are almost full and in a few hours you will not be able to find a place to sit. People are completely relaxed, enjoying coffee and conversation. The weather is nice, the women are beautiful, the food and drinks are really nice. So why should anyone be upset? And here is a monument to the Petr Petrovic Njegor, personally financed by poet Jovan Ducic. A really nice gift for a hometown. I continue my tour visiting the old city surrounded by walls. At the very entrance I am greeted by cafes and restaurants a relaxed atmosphere. I feel like I'm in a sea, which is 30 kilometers from here. On the right is the most famous pastry shop in the city, the famous Greek. If you come at any time of the day or night, you will not find a place to sit. You will have to wait a while for a table to be vacated. The offer is great and I definitely advise you to stop by at the Greek. As you can see, the houses are made of stone and you can go out on the river Trebišnica and rent a boat.
While walking around the city, I come across many sites and old buildings. Another place I would advise you to visit is the famous restaurant called Mura. Take specialty Cevapcici in half bread with onions and you will be very grateful to the owner of the restaurant and to me for sending you here. It is very difficult to find a free place here to sit in the evening, but believe me, it is worth of effort. I have filmed all this material in the morning, so it's not a big crowd in cafes and restaurants. But if you come in the afternoon or evening, the situation is completely different. I continue walking around the old town in the direction of the Museum of the Herzegovina. There are some very interesting objects in the front of the museum, but it is closed, so I was not able to record anything. There is some crowd on the nearby bridge. I will take a walk to see what is going on. Today there will be a competition in jumping from the bridge. There are also jumpers who warm up a bit before competition. I find out that competitions from all over Bosnia will gather and show their skills in front of jury and audience. The river Trebišnica is very cold and not very deep, so every jump is dangerous. While the preparations for the competition are going on, I will take a little walk around the city with a few more beautiful shots of the river Trebišnica.
Further downstream is the old bridge, the famous Arslanagicha bridge. It was built in the 16th century with very interesting constructions and unusual arches. The view from the bridge is fantastic. And on the hill above the bridge is the magnificent monastery of Hercegovačka Gračanica. The monastery church looks like the church of the Serbian monastery Gračanica at the Kosovo and Metohija. It was built in year 2000 with the desire to fulfill the will of the poet Jovan Ducic whose remains were transferred from the USA and buried in the crypt of the church. The founder of the temple is Mr. Branko Tupanjac, a native of nearby town Bileća who lives in Chicago. If you get tired of walking, you can take a break in this cafe with a fantastic view. Famous for its wine, the monastery Tvrdoš is nearby. Unfortunately, movie recording is not allowed, so you have to visit this beautiful monastery yourself. And I have to rest a bit and come to an unusual restaurant. Famous restaurant Studenac. Here you will find an exceptional ambience and there is also great food at this fantastic place. And after returning to Trebinje, I find a completely different situation. The competition in diving has just begun. A huge number of people gathered, old and young. There are TV crews, juries, police, and everyone is looking forward to the start of the competition. In the introduction part, the kids perform acrobatic jumps. Well done, guys! Here is the first jump. Bravo!
And here's what the jump looks like from a position under the bridge. One part of the river was closed and a city pool was built. The night is slowly falling and the cafes and restaurants are filling up. I will walk around the city a little more and I advise you to come to Trebinje to see the beauty and good people. The city is very beautiful and you will have a great time here. Regards from Trebinje. <laughs>